It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. Over the past few weeks, I've had the opportunity to speak at several conferences, and I knew it was a Friday episode time for an Agile, not-so-Agile episode of the Daily Stand-Up Podcast. So I thought I would chat with you just a little bit about what it's like to speak at a conference and what it's like to be engaged with an audience and and what types of you know questions I've been asked regarding this. There, there are a lot of people out there who would love the opportunity to speak at an industry-leading conference in their own industry, whether it's a human resources or personnel management conference, or whether it's a, a conference for administrative professionals or a board of anesthesiologists. There's hundreds and thousands of conferences out there, and there's lots of opportunities to speak. Most recently, I've had a lot of people ask me about speaking on cruise ships. What I can tell you is, for some, it's a dream come true, and for others, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Speaking on a cruise ship oftentimes requires that you have to pay certain fees in order to go and speak. I know it sounds crazy, but these usually aren't paid gigs. The way that they pay you is by allowing you to take the cruise. Now, there's still port fees and taxes and other things that you're responsible for, gratuity. So there are other things that you're responsible for when you go on these cruises. And I think some people just don't realize uh, that it takes it takes great status and a lot of time for you to become uh, credible enough to be able to be paid for those types of engagements. So I thought I'd break it down for you into three or four categories for those who are interested in trying to learn to speak, uh, whether it's in a small group, large group, etc. You should always start by never refusing a free opportunity to speak. So if it's a local meetup group, if it's a local chapter of your PMI or IIBA or ACMP, you want to make sure that you are open and available to speak to them, with them, and for them. Choose a topic that you're passionate about. Speak about it for a short form, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, no more than an hour. Pick a topic that you're familiar with and pick something that other people are interested in and will enjoy. If you can do this and you can get those gigs under your belt, then you can start applying to speak at local conferences there in the area where you're from or regional conferences regarding that subject matter. It takes a lot to be accepted on a large stage like Agile 2023 or Agile 2024 or some of those scrum gatherings. It takes great effort to be accepted onto those stages. The majority of the speakers who are selected are either selected because A, they're new to the conference circuit and it's good to have a new infusion of fresh speakers or B, they're wildly experienced and you know you're gonna get what you paid for uh, to get those speakers to address you. So it's a combination of those two things, which is really industry uh, uh, interesting. So part one is accepting the free gigs, getting out there, getting your name out there, and doing the things that are necessary in order to establish credibility. Step two is produce some type of podcast, webinar, public service, something for free, that you can put out there to show and showcase your speaking ability. Many people listen to my webinar in an effort to determine whether or not I would be a good fit for their conference. And I feel like that's a great idea because you can measure the level of energy that I have. You can tell by my voice whether I'm going to be clear and whether my message is going to be well delivered. You can learn a lot from just a simple webinar. And from there, once you start uh, producing those things, it makes it easier for you to apply for those local speaking engagements. Now, once you have the local speaking engagements under your belt, you can always try to go out on your own and apply for some of the larger ones. But my recommendation is to find a speaker bureau that you can affiliate with or a speaker association, get wrapped up with them and get involved and uh, let them help you create a profile and let them help you draw more people to what you are trying to do. So if you're looking and you're curious to see how a profile looks or what types of things you have to do, including creating a one pager, uh, all the things that you don't realize you have to do as a speaker, you can always visit agiledadspeaks.com. And I'm happy to share some of that information with you that's helped me along the path. Uh, But I think the biggest picture is when you dream big and you say, well, I want to speak on cruise ships or I want to speak at large industry-wide conferences. That's a wonderful aspiration. And what I can tell you is it's not as easy to secure as you think it is. And it's one of those things where you have to have some incredible story to tell that's going to motivate and move people to be passionate about wanting to hear your story. 
And if you have that and you have the charisma to be able to do it and you have the ability to pull it together to assign it to a work related topic that can help people do better in their jobs, it's going to help you grow as an individual and help them grow as people. Those are the types of things that will help propel you onto a national stage. Now, I'm not at the point yet where I could do TEDx talks or cruise ship uh, conversations, but what I can tell you is I'm really close. So it's one of those things where you have to build your brand and you have to build who you are and you have to narrow in on your niche and really hone in on what types of things you're most comfortable speaking about. Because once you get to that area, that's where you're going to see the opportunities start to pour in. But it's not something that you can just sit back and wait for it to happen. You have to actively and be proactive about seeking out those opportunities, applying for those opportunities, and making them happen. You can't just wait for the ship to roll in because if you do, it never will. There's just so many things out there, but it's your responsibility to go out there, seek them, find them, and make them yours. Own them. All right, my friends, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Have an amazing weekend. If you have a topic you want us to discuss, remember, learn more at AgileDad.com is the best way to reach us. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next week, do take care. Bye now. 